prevent food waste with some new delicious recipes from the best-selling cookbook author. Tina is standing by with Jaden Ray from Steamy Kitchen. That's right. Jaden, good morning to you. Hi. Good morning. How are you guys this wonderful morning? We are all doing very well, and I love your idea here because it involves the whole family, and the thing, you know, during COVID was people started making charcuterie boards, but you have a different idea. We do, and the best way to get the family to the dinner table is to have something really interactive, and that means, sometimes that means cooking at the table, like a Korean barbecue, mm -hmm. or it could mean something like this, which is a shared family meal as big as the dinner table. And you've heard of charcuterie boards before, but what we're going to be making right now is a polenta board, I which is inspired it. by this book called Fantastic Fungi. It's one of the most amazing documentaries on Netflix, and it, it actually inspired me to grow my own mushrooms uh -huh. fun. as well. So we're going to be using that in the recipe as well. Okay. But, okay, are, we, are we ready to start this Let's sausage and mushroom recipe? Yes. I've got uh, pancetta. There you go. Now you can see. I've got pancetta rendering in this pan. I added some sausage, and now we're adding some onions and garlic into into uh, the sausage and pancetta mixture. And we're going to let that cook. And of course, we're going to add mushrooms to this. Yeah. And here's a tip for you: use because this is a long simmering sauce. You want to use hearty mushrooms like. Portobello. I've got shiitake, and I also have some kamini. You can use button mushroom in here as well. But the hearty mushroom stands up well in a long simmering sauce. Okay. And so we're just going to saute this for a couple of minutes. And then, of course, if you have dried mushrooms like I do here, I grew these lion's mane. This is a, a pink oyster. I think oh, this is a wow. pino mushroom. But I grew these. I grew these in my kitchen. And it's just so fun to grow grow your own food. I love it. Yeah, so now we're going to add, um, you've got the mushrooms in here, and now we're going to add tomatoes, a can of tomatoes. And here's a tip for you, get whole tomatoes that are canned instead of crushed. Okay. I find that the quality is so much better in whole tomatoes than crushed tomatoes. And here's a tip, use a potato masher in your pan to crush the tomatoes in the pan so that you're not dirtying another bowl. Okay. But best way to um, crush your tomatoes in the pan. We're going to let this simmer. We're going to add some oregano, salt and pepper, uh -huh. and let the simmer for about 30 minutes. And then once this is done, when we come back, we're going to make polenta. We're going to spread it out on this giant board. Okay. And dump the, the ragu on top of that, and everyone just digs in. I cannot wait for this. This is fun. You know, you, oh, you sent me some I, pictures, and I'm like, wow, I cannot no. wait to see what it looks like here. Next time I need to cook in the in, in your studio. Yeah, oh, I know. One of these days, one of these days. All right. <laughs> we'll talk to you in just a little bit, okay? Sounds good. Jaden Ray, steamykitchen.com, and also yeah, it's her blog that's been going on for like what over about 16 years now. Oh and you have gosh. millions of people. Seventeenth year. year. All right, congratulations on that. All right, wow, we'll be right back. Years. Seventeen years on her food blog. All right, back over to you, coach.